Aiden, how can I help you if you won't let me? Look, I've got it off my chest, okay? That's the end of it. But it's not. What you've told me about your family is very disturbing. You need to seek counselling or therapy beyond... Look, don't start telling what I need, okay? I only told you that stuff about my grandfather because I knew you couldn't blab about it to anyone. You told me because you want help and I can provide... Look, I don't that. want anything. Now it's out, it's over, okay? So forget it. Unless you work through this properly with a professional, it could stop you leading a happy, normal life. Yeah, well, what's normal, Doc? At least let me refer you to a local psychiatrist. See, I knew I shouldn't have told anyone about this. I'm not some, some weakling sicko that needs therapy. Okay, I'm fine. I'm dealing with it. So if you tell anyone my business, I'm going to sue you for everything. You got that? Aiden, no, please. Just... Oh, you are, Millie. I'm heading to my rotary meeting. You want to get some takeaway after? Whatever. What's with the attitude? Nothing. Aiden, you walk around the place grunting like a halfwit, then you tell me there's nothing wrong. If you've got a problem, then out with it. I know you're down about your footy and your knee. No one understands that more than I do. But I'm just getting a little tired of that poor me routine, you know? No. Hey, what did I just say? I'm trying to watch TV. Oi! Oh, get off your backside, clean your room and do some washing. I'm not your maid. It's about time you started pulling your weight. Yourself, knowing that you let him do that to us. Hey, what? What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about! Granddad! Don't you even think about running your grandfather down in front you of me. You never want to listen. I mean, look how you've wrecked the place! You got no respect for me or this family, but don't think I'm going to stand here and let you disrespect what your grandfather did for his country. That is bulldog! He was no hero! He was a dirty old... You shut your filthy... Why didn't you stop him? You, you, didn't you? And you let it happen. He was a great man. He was on the wrong... Yeah, see, that's all you care about. The war, the rotary. You went down to your meetings. And you left him with us. Because all you cared about was acting like the big man. <laughs> because your father got a few medals in some stupid war that no one even wanted. That's enough. No, Dad, it's not enough! And I won't stop until you tell me why you did it. I did nothing! That's right! You did nothing! You let him come into our room at yeah, night! Yeah, don't you say that! You let him come in! Stop! Stop! I didn't call it! What's going on here? 
Ask him! Ask that weak mongrel! Okay, why don't you both tell me what's going on? I don't hear what he's, what he's got to say. It's all just lies. Get him out of my house. Get him out! This is only for tonight, because I, I don't need charity. Forget it, not if she's here. I don't know. Hey, look here, I found outside. He's come around to chat about the new job at the restaurant. Really? Yeah. Come to the kitchen, mate. We'll have a chat. Well, I'm gonna go have a shower anyway, so. Bye. Um, yeah, well, I think I'll turn in as well. Good night. Night. Do you want a drink, mate? Yeah, okay. Um, a beer or. <laughs> yeah, nice try. <laughs> Hey, listen, it's not charity to crash on someone's couch if you've got nowhere else to go. It's just smart. Yeah, right. Anyway, you're hungry? I can make you a sandwich if you want. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. And listen, I'm, I'm serious about that job at the diner. I'm going to be needing a kitchen hand soon, so if you're interested, I can... I'm willing to give you a shot at it. And by then, maybe I'll have somewhere else for you to go, or you and your dad will have worked stuff out. Hey. Glasses. Aiden! 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 Come on, man, I just want to talk. Aiden!